If you had told me two weeks ago that Rabbi Shmuley and Kim Kardashian would both infuriate me about the same subject, I would have thought you were a crazy person. I would not have been able to find out what those two would have had in common that they could possibly piss me off over. And yet they both did. In the last two weeks, um, Rabbi Shmuley had an article that came out apparently in 2006 and uh, it was making the rounds again uh, two weeks ago and everybody was all up in arms about it and I was too and I actually uh, tweeted him and <laughs> he tweeted me back, which I gotta give him credit for. Um, and he uh, told me that he had written a clarification and would I please take a look at it? And I did. And it's not good enough. It's basically the exact same sentiments, only written a little bit more politely. And then, of course, yesterday, Kim Kardashian tweeted, Ew, there's a woman next to me at lunch, and she has her boob out. She's nursing. And then she laid the baby on the table to change it. And there seems to be some discrepancy over whether she meant that the nursing was ew or changing the baby on the table was new. I'm going to give her changing the baby on the table in a restaurant because um, we shall be polite of other people, right? You know, you probably don't want to change your baby on the dinner table at a restaurant. Um, as for nursing, I'm not on board. Um, I'm fine. If I'm sitting next to you and you want to whip it out and nurse, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to look. I'm not weird, but um, I'm fine with that. You know, um, although I do think that perhaps we ought to take her advice on the subject since she is such a modicum of modesty, Kim Kardashian. She's always covered head to toe. Naughty bits are never showing. She's you know, always covered up. A nun's habit, really, what she usually walks around wearing. I mean, just the whole, the whipple, just fully covered Kim Kardashian is, I think. So perhaps we should take her advice on uh, on how we should show our bodies in public. I don't know. And um, I wish her well, though, when she has a baby and if she chooses to nurse and she decides to wear a cover and the baby who has a mind of his own or her own at that point is like, get that dang thing off me because the boss, not so much with the cover. In fact, I, uh, the other day, nursed in public in Target while walking, carrying the baby through the Target and no one even noticed. I'm pretty sure that if you Google Kim Kardashian, you will see much more of her chesticles than anyone has ever seen of mine nursing in public, covered or uncovered. And uh, I'm a total, I'm a fan of nursing, um, absolutely. Now, Rabbi Shmuley said several ridiculous things. I mean, just ridiculous things. And uh, there have been several brilliant point-by-point -point rebuttals by women. Um, one of the most ridiculous things he said, um, totally using nursing as a scapegoat, is that women who nurse should cover up even at home around their husbands, lest their husbands become so used to the side of their body that they no longer are attracted to them. Um, it becomes so, you know, de rigueur that they're not, uh, it's not scintillating, it's not forbidden, it's not exciting. And that is absurd. And uh, Tot would agree with you because if I wear anything less than a full hazmat suit, um, Tot considers that foreplay. If it's like a tank and jeans, he's like, game on, you know? So I don't think that we are in any danger, no matter how time, how many times he sees me walk from the shower to the bedroom of, uh, of it becoming too um, familiar. Um, I think you prefer it. As for familiarity, you know what can be too familiar in a marriage? Go into the bathroom with the door open. So Rabbi Shmuley, I recommend that you support the moms in their breastfeeding. And if there's too much familiarity, maybe just suggest people close the bathroom door. Just close the bathroom door. They'll do wonders for your marriage. I promise you. A little mystery. Take away the bodily functions in that department. Leave the nursing. That's all I'm saying. And finally, um, I just want to say to all the moms out there that I support you. Whether you nurse or you formula feed, I support you. I was really lucky that nursing came easy to me and worked out for me. Um, my pregnancy was tough, I had to have a C-section, the baby was breech, it was really, really rough. 
and nursing came really easily to me and for that I am forever grateful but I know so many moms who it didn't one of my friends her milk never came in and despite certain leagues assuring her that it was her baby ended up in the hospital dehydrated and malnourished and so she had to make the choice to formula feed and it was absolutely the right choice for her and I support that I think as long as your babies are healthy and happy and fed and you as a mommy are relaxed and loving that's what creates a bond not just breastfeeding so I support you moms I'll stand up for your right to breastfeed I'll stand up for your right to formula feed you'll never receive any judgment from me for whatever choice you have to make and let's all just let the Rabbi Shmuley's of the world and the Kim Kardashian's of the world. Let's just let all of those, all those negative looks and comments, let's just let them wash over us. Because at the end of the day, my baby is happy and healthy and well fed. And that is worth all the dirty looks in the world. And although I truly hope that we are moving past them and that it will become more and more acceptable to see breasts as nourishing and not just sexual. That is my thought on the matter, long-winded though it may be, and I'd love to hear yours.